Fred, welcome to the scoring zone. We're going to work with you and give you a great putting lesson. This is going to be completely organic because I've never watched you putt. Just met you this morning, so that'll be very natural. And I appreciate that you took your time and would do this in front of the people that are going to get to see sure. this video. And we hope that they get to learn a lot from this as well. So thank you for coming. All Let's right. get started. Now, what I'm going to do first, which I always do, I really want to watch down line. And then I'm going to walk to the front and watch face on because I yeah. want to see both things. So hit a couple putts for us, Fred. Lesson's over. You can go home. <laughs> All right, go I wish ahead. that happened yeah. more. Yeah, hit a couple more. Yep, there's your miss. Now, let me ask you this. Do you want that four-footer coming back? No. I know you don't. Right? <laughs> that was a loaded question. So let's take a minute now. Tell me a little bit about your putting, Fred. I mean, how do you feel about your putting? And just be honest. Uh, it's probably the weakest part of my game. Okay. I shoot mid-80s. Okay. Um, when you get into your putting, do you feel like you're pretty good at lag putting, or do you struggle with short putting, or both a problem? I'm probably better at lag putting. Are you? So little, that, you know, that's an important question because... I like to ask people that because it already tells me you have a little bit, of, like you have good touch, right? But, you know, making the putts you should be making right. is probably where you get frustrated, right? When you Definitely. get inside of six feet, ten feet, you want to make some of those, certainly the four footers, stuff like that. That's where you struggle, right? right? That makes a lot of sense for what I see, right? So I need to ask you a question. You know, as far as your putter goes, tell me how you got your putter. Um, well, I'd been one too many poor rounds on the greens, and I thought, it's the putter. Yeah, so I bought course, a new one. Right? Of course, yeah. <laughs> That's the story. How, how many people do that, right? And so how did you pick that putter? Uh, you know, I'd seen Jason Day use it, like yeah. the look of it. Yeah. Thought he was draining everything. Well, you didn't think it. He was, or yeah, he is, right. right? One of the great putters on tour. And he does that, right? That putter works for him. And that's how a lot of people buy putters. So how did you actually choose, like, do you know the length of your putter? Uh, no. No, I don't. You don't know the length. And that's very common. Like, I have people, and they come to my school, and I'm like, what's the length of your putter? And like, yeah, I don't know. So, you know, they choose a putter by basically what they see someone else doing as far as model goes, but they don't really know the length. And, you know, the length affects the way you set up to the golf ball, and the setup affects the stroke, right? So i got to measure this because i got to okay. see what it is, all right? Do you mind holding my putter sure. for me? So I always, to measure a putter, I always go from the center point of the putter to the end of the grip, and you can see this is a 35-inch putter. Now, that's interesting because, you know, it's something to talk about. 80% of the putters, I've been told, 80% of the putters that are sold in the market today are 35 inches, right? Now, what's interesting to me is that when I go back and the tour players that I've been around and, and knowing what they do, the guys that are 6'1", 6'2", that's where 35 fits pretty well. When you get down to 6 foot, it's usually around 34. You take a guy who's 5'9", five 5'10", foot five foot like Luke Donald's in that range, he's a 33. I'm 5'6", 32 is what fits me. So, Fred, how tall are you? 5'11". Okay, 5'11". So right away, I'm, there's the mismatch, right? And so that's interesting because when I looked at you, the first thing I thought is you don't have enough forward tilt. You stand up to the ball a little bit tall, and like a lot of people, when they stand up to the ball and they don't tilt enough forward from the hips, they round out because they want to look down at the golf ball, so you kind of get a, a hunchy posture. And so when you stand far from the golf ball, your hands get outside your shoulder line, and then all of a sudden you've got a lot of curve in your putting stroke that's not necessary. Right. And, you know, the problem with that... You know, golf is all about margin for error. So I always say, what controls a good player is the margin for error. So if you've got a spot in your putting stroke where the face of the putter is pointing at the golf ball and it's too small, well, if you're off, you're going to hit it right or left, right? Because there's too much arc in that stroke, right? right? So I want to do that. I want to make your putter simple or your putting simpler by getting the putter to work more in a straight line. And it's not a perfect straight line. In a great putting stroke, there's a very minimal slight arc. That's natural, okay? But in your case, there's too much of this, which means a lot of miss hits. Toe, you know, get the toe of your putter, hit it up with a face open, left, and so you just get inconsistent. So you don't even know what to do, right? Because right. the ball's going left or right. It's like, well, I don't even have a consistent miss at that mm -hmm. point, right? All right, so we're going to start with posture, okay? So go ahead, and I'm going to take my putter back. And what I'm going to do without any putter in your hand, because the putter influences the player, and so I'm going to teach you rotate, tuck, and tilt, get you into a good posture, and then I'm going to figure out what length fits you okay. when you're in the correct posture. Okay, so let's go up here, and I want you to rotate your hands in or your elbows in, and just make sure, like, make sure your shoulders are pulled back. So many people, when they putt, you know, I see them kind of round out, 
And when you do that, you get in a poor posture and, and you get kind of like this. So you want to keep those shoulders back and big pressure off your lungs. When your shoulders are back, you don't compress your lungs so you can breathe better, which is a part of, of great putting, not being all tight in the upper body. So shoulders are back. Now, what I want you to do with your shoulders back and your hands together, let your elbows just kind of sit on the front of your rib cage. So I like to come around and just make sure they're here. So let me define this for you. If your elbows get back behind your rib cage, that's bad because mm -hmm. now you got to putt with your hands. Right. But if they're all the way off your rib cage, that's bad because, watch, go into a tilt for me. I'm going to show you something. So if your elbows are kind of off your rib cage, there's too much float and there's no control. Mm -hmm. So what I like to tell people about the elbows is the elbows really slide across the bottom of your rib, ca rib cage during the stroke. So when I putt, I really try to feel like my sternum stays still and I just let my elbow, my left elbow in the back stroke slides right under my rib cage. In the forward stroke, my right elbow slides right under my rib cage. So I always feel like something's attached. I don't feel like I'm jammed and I don't feel like I'm loose where I don't have control. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the sweet spot. So come back up here for me. Rotate, tuck, right? Let's go a little wider, like that looks a little tense in your shoulders, good. Yep. That's great right there. Now, tilt for me from the hips. Now I gotta tell you, this is gonna feel like I've got you bent over at right mm -hmm. angles. Everybody always feels like it's more than it is, okay. okay? But go ahead and trust me and tilt forward from the hips until the point where I can get your hands right under your shoulders, right? So that's even a little too much, which is great. I'm gonna bring you up. Now, if you notice this, your weight's on your heels, okay? okay? So I'm gonna rock you forward to get your weight on the balls of your feet. And I just did that to clear a spot for your arms to swing underneath your shoulders. Now, if I pretended there was a rod right through your sternum right here, mm -hmm. now swing your arms back and forth. Feel the freedom there? Yep. Okay, that's very different than when I saw you first. You were up here right. and you were round, right? Kind of rounded, yeah. right? And your hands were out there. And so that's why your putting stroke, you had a lot of this going on. Mm -hmm. Feel how different that is, right? So now let's go back and go shoulder blades back Elbows rest on the corner of your rib cage. Walk into it and get a tilt. You know what I do find? It's, it's most people do this. What you're doing? They take their stance first, right? And the problem with taking your stance first is your upper body is not set in relation to the golf ball. So I really try to reverse that order. Yeah. I like people to get the putter on the ground with their upper body first. Then they can move, adjust their stance where they can feel their weight on the balls of their feet. So here's what I want you to do. Let's make an adjustment. So I want you to do the same thing. Rotate tuck and tilt so your shoulders are back your elbows are on the corner of your rib cage now just step with one foot right and then let yourself go ahead and tilt forward from the hips until your hands come to rest right under your shoulders that's great so we're tilting forward there and then you just adjust your feet now you're a little bit on that's pretty good actually let me let me go back here and look at this that actually looks a lot better i'm going to decrease your knee flex just a little bit and I'm gonna tilt you a little bit more. So did you feel how I just got your mm -hmm. weight a little more in the balls of your right. feet? Now why am I doing that? I'm doing that so that you can swing your arms back and forth. So just swing your arms back and forth. Good, there's the straight line. So your hands are really working in straight line. So the putter is gonna work in a very slight arc, but your hands are gonna work in a straight line. Keep your elbows a little higher, Okay. right about there. So now you're getting into this very good posture and learning it where I can now fit you, okay? So I'm gonna bring the tool around so you stay right where you are. 